Are you looking for the best solar powered steak lights? I did an unboxing video of these Brightology colorized lights right here and I told you guys at the end of that video that I would show you guys what these things look like at night and so we're going to do that in today's video. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have and put outside of our house and they have a bunch of different colors. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So first of all, this is what they just look like sitting in your yard. Uh, again, they are the colorized ones, so you can make them different colors and the colors do change uh, colors if you leave them on that uh, that I guess time it's not really a timer there's like a little thing in there that just spins on a motor that uh, makes it change color from what I know from what my experience with uh, color uh, color changing lights have been but we got a bunch of them here and I figured that I would kind of go through them first of all I wanted to show you guys what they look like in the dark you can kind of see my hand next to it right there it's not like a super powerful glow but it's a nice glow coming off of the uh, ground here that kind of lights a path to your house and um, um, this one right here is on the color changing uh, setting right now and there's just a little button on the bottom here that you press. So one press, uh, one, one that, once it's on the color changing mode, one press will turn it off. Then you have the on and this is just a bright white, I guess not really bright white, it's a white light um, that comes on. And then you press it again and you go through uh, the colors and the first one we have here is red. And then you can change it to a green, you can change it to a blue. And I'm keeping my hand here so that you guys can get an idea of what these colors actually look like uh, in comparison with how dark it is out here. And then um, you have the yellow and this is changing to a green so you're back on the, um, the changing colors mode. And there you have it. White, red, green, blue. And then color change and then I believe let me try this out because my kids are the ones who really enjoyed these and they were playing with them one day and you can uh, there, I think there's a way that you can set it onto a certain color so let me get it to a color that we haven't seen yet and then I think what you have to do like this cyan right here no oh, I was gonna say you have to hold it down maybe let me try holding it down right here there's the blue is there another button? Hang on, let me feel around here again. There's the color changing ones. And then that's off right there. These do come on at night, so you don't have to uh, pre-program them or anything. It's got some kind of like little sensor in there that uh, tells it whenever it needs to come on, which uh, works fairly well. I will say though that we have a street light right there. They seem to be doing all right with the street light, but whenever we have a lot of light coming through a window maybe, or if we have this light turned on right there, this outdoor light, uh, that might cut off one or two of these just because it's getting some direct light into there. Another reason, or another time that I saw whenever they went off because it was getting light is at night whenever we're driving up into the driveway here, the car kind of comes in this way, and it flash, the headlight flash will turn off one or two of these lights as well so you do have to be uh, careful with how much light is actually getting into there because it's just like a little one of those little uh, photo mm, I don't know what they're called little uh, sensors that detects light and whenever it detects the light obviously it's gonna turn off and turn on and that's kind of how it works with the sunlight but just to give you guys an idea of what we have here we have uh, I think about 12 of these right here and so far only one of them has uh, fallen off of the stake. I believe it's this one, yeah. The uh, the stake came, uh, it broke off of there, and that's because I'm pretty sure our two-year-old decided to grab it and rip it out. Um, either that, or uh, I caught him one time stepping on these as well. And obviously, if you're gonna step on it and then you start falling and wobbling and whatnot, it's just gonna break the stake right there. So definitely um, make sure that if, you're, if you have toddlers out there, 
that they're not stepping on it and possibly even some smaller kids as well. If you guys want to check these out too, I'm going to link them up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy showing it off for you because I've been using them for a little bit. And uh, the I got to say, the kids have been having so much fun with this. So whenever Christmas time was around, uh, they took all the lights and they set them to a red and green pattern. So like they just do an alternating pattern of like red, green, red, green red green and so it's been fun for them to be able to do some of these kind of holiday lights that go on with it I'm sure around Easter time they might put some pastel colors in there maybe Valentine's do some like reds and pinks all the way down maybe a little bit of white in there so uh, something fun that you can use with your kids and also if you have a two-year-old or younger somewhere around there where they're still learning their colors great way to teach them their colors if they stay up you know after dark whenever it starts getting dark super early is a, a something fun that you can do that you probably couldn't do during the day you know they get to come out at night to do that so uh lots of i, I really like the look of them i like the diffused light of them i think they give off just the perfect amount of light to be able to light up your sidewalk and it's fun that you can change the colors with them and there's literally no maintenance with them you don't have to put down any wires or anything because it's all done via solar panel which i really really like like i said if y'all want to check these out i'll link them up down in the description below but if you guys want to watch my original unboxing video of these things to see everything that you get and how it's packaged up i'm gonna put that video right there on the screen you guys go and click that video i'll see y'all that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.